What's up guys, Twig46 here, and today we are going to talk about a very important aspect of the game. We are going to talk about how to be a successful bomber pilot. There are a couple of techniques that you can use to greatly improve your results, and we're going to cover those in sections. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about the three types of bombing, which are high altitude bombing, low altitude bombing, and dive bombing. And so we're going to go into each of those, talk about how to be effective in all three categories, and in general, how to be effective bomber while dealing with fighters in a realistic battle, in an arcade battle, how to position yourself to stay away from fighters while still causing damage. So what we're going to do is take these planes up into a uh, test flight with the arcade um, flight model just so I can climb up faster and get onto the what we actually need to talk about faster plus I'll get unlimited bombs so I can just keep dropping bombs to show you what I'm talking about anyway let's get these bad boys up into the air and we will jump cut when we are ready to start talking right alrighty guys welcome back we are in the B-17 why did I pick this plane? Because it is a fantastic bomber in arcade. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't believe me, take a look at my B-17 problem video series. There's only three videos in there. Uh, it explains why I feel like this thing should be banned from our, or not arcade, but from realistic battles. However, in arcade, it is a fantastic machine if, if played correctly. Now, I picked this plane because it's probably a pretty... A well-known icon people are gonna want to fly it a lot and hey it's a high altitude bomber like wh what do people think of when they think of high altitude bombers b-17 at least in America um, if you're in uh, British territories or the UK you're probably gonna think of the Lancaster it's all good it's all good um, I'm American so I picked the b-17 no hard feelings anyway um, Let's talk about high altitude bombing. So here we are at high altitude, and this is, you know, roughly what you're going to be looking at as a cruising speed, something like 269. Uh, the trick to high altitude bombing is to always maintain climbing. Um, you'll take a look, see, at our uh, climb indicator here, and that little circle with the cross um, in the red circle. That's where your nose is pointing up. And those barred lines where it says zero, that's level flight. So you're not even achieving a five degree climb here. So you can see on the left hand side where it says altitude, ALT, it's going up very slowly. Uh, this is a big deal for high altitude bombers because you always want to be climbing because fighters can climb way faster than you can easily. So that's, that's one thing that you want to do. Uh, let's talk about turning. Um, as that's going to be one of your primary uh, things you're going to have to do, especially in arcade. Um, these things don't turn very well. So what we do to turn is we start to nose one way over. I prefer to activate my flaps to combat. That way it always it's generating more lift. And as long as you turn slowly and cautiously you should be able to always maintain a climb and right about now I feel like I'm going too slow so I will retract my flaps add a little war throttle try to get that speed back up and just complete the turn towards our targets which today are friendly targets no hard feelings guys just a training mission <laughs> All right, so if you did it right, you shouldn't have lost uh, any altitude in your turn. And now you are back on target, and you just level out until you get your speed about the same and your climb just going up very slowly. And that's how you want to execute a proper turn while high-altitude bombing. All right, so let's talk about how to lead a target. We will press our V key until we get to our... Bombardier site. This is the gunner site. B-17 has 100% coverage anywhere you aim. Uh, you can get shots except right there, straight up. So that's how you want to attack a B-17 from straight down on it. 
But here we are in our bomb site view. A um, couple things to note: you have the big circle with the the cross in it. That's your uh, direction you're going to go. If you look up by the ticket counter, uh, the red and blue thing, you'll see that arrow moving left and right. That's where your plane is going to be. So you don't. There's no guess. And if you notice, there's that little cross going back and forth, left and right. That's showing you how your plane's going to compensate. Does take time and practice, but up oh, there's a target. We're gonna just put our arrow right over it. And another thing is we have the climb indicator here. So if we go down, now we're in level flight. Now our nose is pointing down, and now our nose is pointing up. And this matters because high altitude bombers are most successful when they're flying in level flight. All right, so we're lining up on our target. We can right click to zoom in. And this is a technique that I found out myself, is when you're right about on target, what you want to do is drop throttle. And see how slowly your, your bomb sight goes over the target. And so we'll just drop all bombs. And we will follow them all the way down. Of course, you want to throttle back up now, just to maintain your speed, maintain your climb. And we will follow these bombs all the way down and see how accurate they are from a high altitude. Um, they do have quite a bit of spread. Let's see. Oh, there's the targets. Of course, I took off the sound just so I can don't have to talk over it. Um, but yeah, normally you get that awesome bomb whine, which is fantastic. So here they go. And... Direct hit, mission accomplished. All right, so let's take a look at how accurate that spread was. Let's see, where is that spread? Hmm, plane seems to be in the way. Let's turn it. Here's a here's how not to turn. Um, watch as the altitude drops dramatically. <laughs> yeah, you gain you gain speed, but in a B-17, you just lost uh, about. 500 meters of altitude for 200, actually no, like 50 kilometers of speed, you're not going to get that back. So don't ever turn like that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't see where those bombs hit. It should be right off the wing somewhere. Yep, they're there. They're right next to the wing. See the spread that you're going to get at high altitude. So, you know, I don't know, spam away. And you're, if you're in arcade, it's fine because you got your bombs. My bombs are already back up because I got a relatively good reload time, 40 seconds for me. But there's your spread right there. Um, three were on target, three were off. That's a 50% ratio, which is actually historically correct. That was um, successful bombing. If it, about 50% of your bombs hit about where you aim them. So that's uh, how you high altitude bomb. Now, obviously, there's... A bit of a discipline thing here. The uh, when you start out, you're probably not going to have uh, too much in the in the way of reload, but uh, you might get there eventually. And what happens is people tend to turn too quickly, and we're going to execute a correct turn. And just to show you how much uh, lead time you have to fly away from your target to actually hit it successfully again. Ooh, see, so drop down a little bit. You don't want to drop down. You always want to be climbing. Unless, of course, it's the end of the match, and you're just going to dive in and just bomb that last target to get that little bit of XP out of it. Yep, almost there. Of course, this is a lot easier when the targets light up on the radar, but for the purposes of this mission, it's fine. Oop, dropping, dropping altitude, not good. All right, there we go. Now we are in a good approach here. Of course, we're going to do a bad approach just to show you what uh, can happen. Again, we're going to follow the same uh, same technique. Line up the target very calmly, very deliberately. Drop throttle and spam your bombs. And there we go. All right, now we're going to keep it up in this view because this is what you're probably going to be seeing. Um, as you don't want to follow your bombs all the way down, you want to be looking around, seeing where the fighters are, so you can position yourself to stay away from them. But if you do it right, hopefully 8,000 meters should be more than sufficient to keep anyone 
away from you know trying to climb up after you unless of course they are determined in which case they will come after you not much you can do there all right so my bombs are about eight seconds away they still have yet to impact still waiting for it there they go wow see look at that spread that was terrible but um let's see one two three were they're thousand pound bombs so i'm going to say two or three were pretty close that's again a 50 percent spread all right so this is what people will do is like, oh bombs are back up time to turn and then they'll just go like crazy hardcore turn like this to try to get their bombs back on target and you'll notice how much altitude you're losing and then oh you just overshot so now not only did you lose all of your uh, altitude you've also now you gotta reset up your run which means time which if it's a close game you just really can't afford to do so you need to have some uh, discipline when uh, when uh, geez sorry uh, it's early uh, when you're leading away um, if you'll notice this is this is where my plane is and this is where I drop the bombs oh way over there is where the bombs are actually gonna fall and the higher you go the more pronounced this becomes just something to be aware of uh, let's do two more passes just to give you um, some more tips and tricks of hard learned lessons that I've learned while I've had to bomb uh, out enemy airfields so here we have an airfield this is a, a good approach this is um, about when you want to turn around so let's go ahead and do that we'll do the uh, the proper turn as well I'm gonna call it I guess doesn't really matter what you call it just do it this way because it's the best way because twig 46 said so that's why <laughs> don't question me I know what I'm doing alright so obviously again this will be a lot easier when you're um, you know have the target marked on your map I don't so it's a bit of an issue for me so here we go we're gonna bomb out this middle one cuz why not alright so we're gonna get in our bomb mode this is just you know same thing line up your arrow you can uh, adjust your roll rate obviously the leveler you are the better your bombs will fly so this is a common mistake that people make is they approach the airfield from this direction and what this does is it doesn't give you much time to drop your bomb see I gotta drop all on that little tiny strip there um, granted it does work um, if you're if it's your first approach it'll be fine but um, it's not uh, the, the best way to do it um, the best way to do it is to fly over here of course we'll we'll see the spread here and I'll show you just why it's not very effective all right where is it any second now yeah they should be drop hitting there they go all right so that in a in an actual battle situation all of those bombs would have hit but you can again see the the kind of spread we're talking about um, just how far those bombs drift as they fall um, this is a this is a much better approach and I'll show you why I'm gonna do the incorrect turn because sometimes you just have to do what you have to do and this is a thing that you're gonna have to learn not to do but you know uh huh. So if you overshoot, like I just did, you still have plenty of, of runway to drop your bombs on. And now that you drop your bombs, just turn turn away. Turn away from and get it parallel or perpendicular. I think it's parallel. Like so you're flying it like this. So the airfield is the longest and you're flying away from it now my bombs are still reloading I'm gonna turn around um, at the 10 second mark I'm gonna go ahead and turn that right now um, obviously this is not the best way to do it but you know we can get away with it alright my bombs are back up 
And I get a drop again. And turn again. Hopefully I don't rip. Oh, it's arcade. I won't rip. But yeah, and then just turn again. This way you have a lot more, um, how do you say, surface area over your target. So if you overshoot, you still have, say, I don't know, from my finger, just like kind of put your fingers up there. It's It's a lot more than if you put it on the other side from the first approach, if that makes any sense. So hopefully that'll save you a, a lot of grief uh, when trying to set up your bomb runs in arcade. Anyway, I think that's uh, about everything you need to know for high altitude bombing. Of course, bomb loads will differ for planes, but let's take the very honorable way out and just ram this sucker into the ground, because why not? Oh no, we're all gonna die. Everyone freak out. <laughs> Shoot all the guns. Fire the photon lasers or whatever Star Trek people fire. Fire the proton torpedoes. Ah. <laughs> oh man, this crew served valiantly. Yep, again, you cannot drop your bombs in a straight vertical dive. This is what dive bombers are for, which is what we're gonna cover next. Splat. Yeah, plane burnt down. Sure did. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about some dive bombers and how they differ from high altitude bombers. And we're going to go ahead and jump cut when we're ready to drop bombs.